Hello, I'm Michelle and I'm here today with David Gottenberg of Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic. Our topic today will affect anybody that takes supplements and the supplement we are talking about today is calcium. Thanks. Uh, you know when we talk about calcium I think it I think it everybody assumes or understands the role that calcium plays um, in strengthening bones and teeth but what I also want to talk a little bit about is what most people are not aware of in, in calcium's role in, for example, um, nerve transmission, the health of your heart, um, blood coagulation, um, and calcium is also important, is, is almost indispensable when it comes to anything to do with our immune system, but there's also differences. What are those differences? You know, one of the major differences is that um, a lot of the calcium supplements that are on the market today are derived from dolomite, limestone, crushed rocks. And uh, while crushed rocks are natural, they're not living, they're not organic. What we prefer to use is a form of calcium, calcium lactate, that is derived in this case from a plant or vegetable base. So uh, it's easily digested. It's, it's already in a slightly acidic base which improves the absorption of calcium which really dispels the whole reason why would anybody be taking Tums for a calcium supplement. So earlier you talked about how calcium affects the heart. So how does that play in? Well, you have calcium lactate, we have calcium, so the importance of that is, for example, in a supplement like Congoplex, which is designed primarily for colds, uh, calcium plays a vital role in our immune system. It's included in a supplement we call Cardio Plus, which is a supplement that's an all-around support for heart, and calcium is extremely important in this product. And then. And then for bone health, uh, I really think it's important that um, the supplement that supports people with weak bones uh, be a supplement that almost preserves the integrity of the nutritional components so that all of the other things that go into making bones like the amino acids and enzymes and collagen, uh, that they're all in place along with calcium. So other than reading the label, how do I know I'm taking the right kind? We do really a couple simple things. One, uh, we talked about it earlier, hair mineral analysis. Briefly, if calcium ends up in the hair, it's in the wrong place. So high levels of calcium in the hair, poor supplement. The second way we do it right in the office, we do a simple test called a calcium cuff test. And we take a cuff and place it around the calf of a person's legs and pump it up. If they can withstand 200 millibars, they're good. If they start to get cramping pain in the calf, somewhere between 120 and 160, they need a different calcium supplement or a different delivery system. Thank you, David. What great information. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact him.